Meet Soren Stillemarkersen, Danish barista champion and recent top five barista in the world. Soren is also owner and founder of Great Coffee in Aarhus, Denmark. It's frequently named as one of the best places in Europe to get your caffeine fix. Soren's story didn't actually start with coffee. His past is somewhat closer to home. Soren was a pastry chef for 15 years and is an expert in pairing coffee with food. The opportunity to work with Soren couldn't be ignored and we set him a task to identify the perfect coffee to serve with each one of our five Mini Mania pastries. Here are his results. For this pastry, I actually, uh, there was a little bit tricky to, to match a coffee for this one, but it's very salty and it's also like sweet, so it's a kind of a caramel uh, flavor to that uh, cake. So I chose a, a coffee from Rwanda. Uh, Rwanda coffees are typically very chocolatey and also a little bit uh, salty, uh, and they have, uh, have a kind of a blueberry uh, flavor to the, uh, to the coffee. But they also have that salty uh, aftertaste. So for this one, uh, I chose the coffee from Rwanda uh, because it's, uh, it's chocolatey, it's uh, sweet caramel, and it's uh, blueberry, and, and then there has a salty finish. For the strawberry shortcake, uh, that's also very sweet, but it's a little bit uh, fruity. And last, or the past four years, I've been in El Salvador developing a coffee, uh, which is a natural processed, and there's a lot of fruit in that coffee. Uh, it's sweet, it's a little bit of a cherry and uh, cherry in, in flavor, but it's also uh, very, uh, very silky in the mouth. So that actually matches very good with this, uh, with this pastry. It's, uh, that, that is also sweet, but it has that fruitiness. So the natural El Salvador uh, is, is a good balance uh, between these two uh, things. This uh, coconut uh, pastry was really difficult. So I decided that either should be a very uh, fruity coffee uh, or it should be a very bitter coffee. So as you eat it, it's really sweet. And, and for me to lower that sweetness, uh, I thought that it would be good with a bitter coffee. So I tried the bitter coffee, that worked very well. But the uh, fruity coffee was not that good because it kind of uh, became more, uh, more revolving in, in, in flavor and taste. So the bitterness, uh, I think, matched that coffee really good. The cherry chocolate, um, that's not difficult to, to find a coffee for because it actually goes uh, along with a great deal of coffees. You can use a fruity coffee, you can use a sweet coffee. Uh, and for this, I chose a, a honey processed coffee. It's very sweet in, in flavor and aroma. Uh, you have that uh, kind of a sweetness as in, as in cherries. So when you actually, when you take the berry and you, you taste the fruit slime, uh, that is, uh, really present in uh, that honey processed coffee. So it has a lot of caramel, it has a lot of chocolate, and then it has the fruitiness and the silkiness, which is really good with this uh, cake. The lemon cheesecake, that's also quite easy to, to match uh, because it's very distinct in flavor. You have that lemon coming through as a, in citric fruits. So for this one, I chose uh, uh, also a citric coffee. I have a uh, coffee from Costa Rica, which is uh, citric, caramel, and sweet chocolate. And then I also have uh, another coffee, which is from Panama, which is a kind of a lemon uh, flavor uh, attached to, to the coffee. So it was not difficult to match this, coffee, uh, this pastry. That was actually the, the easiest one to match. This one and the, the cherry one, because they're very distinct in flavor. And you have a sweet, pastry or you have a, a very fruity pastry. Uh, the sweeter pastries are difficult to match, whereas the fruity pastries, they're very easy to match uh, when you take coffee to, to match these uh, flavors. You can find more information about these pastries and a whole range of bakery solutions on our website. Thanks for watching and please leave a like or a comment at the bottom.